हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू फास्ट कोडर ट्वेंटी वन फ्री मेडिकल कोडिंग यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे आवर सेशन इज आई सी टेन सी एम टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर गाइडलाइंस एंड कोड चेंजेस इंक्लूडिंग सी सी एंड एम सी सी एपिसोड टू आलरेडी वी हैव क्रिएटेड एपिसोड वन विच आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ दिस वीडियो इफ यू आर विजिटिंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन टू रिसीव फ्यूजर अपडेट्स प्लीज वॉच this session until the end to gain in depth knowledge about icd 10 cm 2024 code updates as well as guideline changes if you are in patient coder this session is very very helpful for you as i am going to teach you what are the new ccs and mcc mcc sir included in 2024 icd 10 cm codes in the episode 1 we have learned until chapter 14 which is diseases of genito urinary system now we will learn about chapter 15 pregnancy so here we have one new term included which is hepatorenal syndrome so here if you understand anatomy or if you understand what part you need to remember that hepato means liver renal means kidney so here hepatorenal syndrome means development of renal failure in patients with severe liver disease so using the word you need to understand that hepatorenal means liver disease due to kidney failure so hepatorenal syndrome is a cause of acute kidney injury that can be seen in the those with acute or chronic liver diseases so most of the time you will see hepatorenal syndrome in the patients with acute or chronic liver disease if you check wo 90.4 category level there is no change but they have in uh, uh, deleted one includes note there hepatorenal syndrome following labor and delivery but they have added excludes one non anuria and oliguria and also they have added 090.41 and 0.090.49 for for one is hepatorenal syndrome following labor and delivery so Point nine four nine is other postpartum acute kidney failure. So here postpartum acute kidney failure is the new MCCs for inpatient medical coders. And we have one more category here. Who twenty six point six liver and bladder tract disorders in pregnancy, childbirth, and the puerperium. So here excludes notes. So there is no change. So like if it is excludes two, there is no change. But they have revised the wording. so they have revised hepatorenal syndrome following labor and delivery to hepatorenal syndrome following labor and delivery so just they have added one more digit on the o90.41 and here they have added multiple subcategory codes o26.64 intrahepatic cholestasis of pregnancy and for that we have more subcategories 41 42 43 43 and 49 Four one is for first semester, four two is for second trimester, and four three is for third trimester. And also, if you are in patient coder, you need to know that O twenty six point six four one, six four two, six four three, and six four nine are new CCs for in patient medical coders. If you check chapter seventeen, congenital malformations, we have one syndrome added here, Alagilli syndrome. So new Q codes and inclusion terms have been created to allow for clear identification of Alagilli syndrome. See here, in Q44.7, other congenital malformations of liver, there is no change in the category, and do they have removed or deleted most of the include terms under Q44.7? But they have added Q44.70 and Q44.71. So 70 is other congenital malformations of liver unspecified, and Q44.71 Alagilli syndrome. Usually you call it as Alagilli Watson syndrome. So basically Q44.70 and 71 are new CCs for inpatient medical coder. So you need to remember Q44.7 and Q44.71 are new CCs. So in chapter 17 we have one more guideline here. like code change cranio synostosis so several uh, sub category codes are added under q75 here so if we check there is no change in the category level 
so they have added subcategory level like cranio synostosis unspecified and q70.75.001 cranio synostosis unspecified unilateral so under cranio synostosis we have multiple codes so you need to take precaution while coding this next one is bardet beadle syndrome bbs so bbs is a rare autosomal recessive genetic disorder that can lead to dysfunction of multiple organ systems including the kidneys genitalia brain and eye so basically bbs is a genetical disorder so whenever you find this disorder in the documentation you need to code as it is a genetical disorder you can't get rid of this condition under q87.8 category so they have added multiple codes category level there is no change but to sub category level they have added q87.83 bardell beidel syndrome 84 lorenz moon syndrome 85 med 13l syndrome usually we will call it as mediator complex sub unit 13l syndrome so along with those codes the you need to code also autism septum disorders and congenital malformations of cardiac septa and if you are in patient coder you need to remember that all these q87.83 84 85 are new mc uh, new cc's for in patient coders next chapter is chapter 18 symptoms signs and abnormal clinical and lab findings here we have most important code here is dense breast tissue so there are several codes to identify the different types of breast density so here there is no change in the category level like r92.2 inclusive mammogram so includes is here previously dense breast and inclusive mammography due to dense breast is deleted now now currently they have made direct code here so r92.3 mammographic density found on the imaging of breast code also if applicable we need to code inclusive mammogram and for dense breast they have included sorry they have deleted includes notes and they have added r92.30 dense breast unspecified and it is like low density also if you find low density in the documentation you need to code dense breast unspecified newly in 2024 so they have added foreign body sensation in various areas of the circulatory and respiratory system so we can check now so r09.a foreign body sensation of the circulatory and respiratory system so r09.a0 foreign body sensation unspecified a1 nose a2 throat a9 other side so basically these are the location related to circulatory and respiratory system and also in 2024 they have added one new code for non traumatic coma due to an underlying condition so there we need to code r40.2 a so if you find in the documentation non traumatic coma we need to use r40.2 a non traumatic coma due to underlying condition secondary coma as always using the etiology manifestation we need to code underlying condition first then we need to code non traumatic coma icd 10 cm code chapter 19 injury poisoning and other external causes so new codes added for toxic effects of gadolinium so basically gadolinium is a contrast agent so because of this contrast agent if you have any type of complication they have added here so 2t56.82 toxic or uh, toxic effect of gadolinium so here excludes one adverse effect of diagnostic agents we need to code t50 series so next we have 821 82 823 824 one is for accidental two is for self harm three is for assault four is for undetermined next chapter 20 external causes so in 2024 most of the codes are added in chapter 20 external causes here also 123 codes updates in chapter 20 to capture details around accidents and injuries so here first one is w44 series here plastic toy other sharp objects objects of natural organic matter mat unspecified food entering into it through natural orifice initial encounter so basically we will use these codes for foreign body entering into uh, through a natural orifice so here chapter 21 factor influencing health status so sdoh code so usually sdoh means 
Social, uh, social Determinants of Health codes were added including 8 of the 13 new codes in chapter 21. Factors influencing health status and uh, contact with health services which capture disease related to child upbringing. So basically as per the guideline change, we all know that SDOH codes are now included in chapter 21. So we have here Z62.33, sorry 2324. These are for child in custody of non-parental relative. 24 is per child in custody of non-related guardian. So whenever there is a child upbringing scenario, we need to code from Z62 series. So also in the chapter, a new code is added for acute HIV infection syndrome and HIV pre-exposure profile axis to increase awareness of PREP among some at-risk groups to enable wider use and reduce the burden of HIV according to the requester. So basically no change in the Z29.8 uh, category here in contrast for other specified prophylactic measures. So basically you need to understand prophylactic measures means to prevent HIV disease. If the patient takes any type of treatment, we will call it as prophylactic measure. So here they have added Z29.81 for encounter for HIV pre exposure prophylaxis and 89 is for encounter for other specified prophylactic measures. So if it is for HIV, we need to code Z29.81 and also now on earth, we can code high risk sexual behavior also along with Z29.81. So thank you guys. I hope this session is very useful for you. So if you like this session, please click on like button and also share with other coders.